Air travel isn't what it used to be, and while the state and international borders are open, travellers around the world are facing flight delays, cancellations and missing baggage. It was just horrible service and they lost my bag. Clinton Press flew with Virgin Australia in late April. Two months on, his suitcase is still lost and he's been unsatisfied with Virgin's offer of compensation. So on the 21st of April, I had a flight from Adelaide to Perth via Melbourne with Virgin and my bag went missing en route. And of course, I followed up with Virgin multiple times and was just told the same story. The bag's coming, uh, we'll call you, you know, a courier will call you when it's on its way and all this sort of stuff. But it just never came. Every airline is struggling to get back to the sort of level that's needed. And it's happened very suddenly. Um, you know, three months, three, four months ago, there was nothing moving. For generations, Australians have held Qantas close to their hearts. But over the past few months, the shine's worn off as customers vent their frustrations on social media. I think their brand is very, very tarnished. They've got a massive government payout to try and keep them afloat and keep them running. So I think they could have put a bit more effort into the customer service. So lots of other people got the same in late price. April, long-time Qantas customer Kevin Burke was a passenger on a series of connecting Qantas flights. He says they were plagued by problems, including his trip from Darwin to London, where the flight's baggage was left behind. When we actually started to disembark when we arrived at Heathrow, the pilot told us that the entire plane's luggage had been left in Australia to make room for fuel. As soon as they announced it, there was, there was kids and mothers behind me just burst into tears, not knowing what to do when they get off. In early April, Qantas chief executive Alan Joyce said customers were partly to blame for the problems over Easter. I think our customers are not much fit. But the Transport Workers Union argues today's problems are the result of Qantas outsourcing. In 2020, while the borders were shut, Qantas sacked nearly 2,000 ground workers, shifting the work to third-party companies like Swissport, Donata and Menzies. This is about a fundamental structural problem in aviation that has been deliberately created by Qantas over the course of the Joyce administration. The federal court later found the sackings were illegal. Qantas denies the union's claims on outsourcing and plans to appeal to the High Court. These workers have had marriage breakdowns. They've had to sell their houses and their properties. Qantas declined to be interviewed by 7.30, but on 2GB on Friday, Alan Joyce said the holiday problems were unacceptable and that the airline has made improvements. What we saw over Easter was not the aviation industries or the transport industries fine as error. Parts of that system didn't work very well. You saw the queues at airports. Um, we saw um, higher levels of COVID and sick leave. Um, in some cases, up to 50% of people taking sick leave. So we nearly had this perfect storm of things not working well. Late last week, Qantas faced more customer anger after a flight from Dallas to Sydney was delayed for more than 24 hours, forcing many to sleep in the airport terminal. Qantas has apologised. We slept at the airport um, with probably the ma majority of the plane because um, uh, mo most people were unable to procure any accommodation at all. Yeah, it was a bit of a daunting experience. We love Qantas and we just felt really let down from the beginning that no one was talking to us or no one was telling us what was going on. Qantas was my life. Uh, I love my job at Qantas. Nick Bennett was a tug driver for Qantas, but after 22 years with the airline, he was sacked in 2020. He struggled to find work and later found a job outside of aviation. But I've taken a 45% wage cut to what I was used to earning, uh, which has been quite a financial challenge. A TWU survey of 1,100 former Qantas workers found while the majority found new jobs, 70% said they were worse off. 71% said they experienced financial hardship 
and 30% said they had developed depression or anxiety. During the pandemic, 15,000 jobs were shed around Sydney Airport. But now with travel resuming, employers across the aviation sector are rushing to fill thousands of new jobs. Please also take some lollies as well. <laughs> The issue with the delays have been the shortages of labour. So at Easter time, across the airport precinct, we were about 30% about short of where we needed to be on staffing. And at Easter time, we saw pre-COVID levels of passenger numbers coming back through the airport. So 100% of pre-COVID levels, 70% of staff, and the math leads you to the outcomes that we, we saw during Easter, which was completely regrettable. One, two and three on the left-hand side of the check-in hall. The next big challenge for air travel will be the July school holidays. And while the companies here are scrambling for workers, it's unlikely that all 5,000 jobs will be filled in time. Airport authorities are giving few assurances that the problems over Easter and the Queen's birthday long weekend won't happen again. Yeah, I'm not going to sugarcoat it. It's going to be challenging because we're still going to have staff shortages in the June-July school holidays. We learn a lot from the lessons of the uh, Easter school holidays and the Queen's birthday long weekend. We're throwing everything we possibly can at it. Do you have a plan online? Yeah, I did play on, uh, fly already online. Among the employers recruiting for workers, ground services companies Swissport and Donata. Menzies declined to be interviewed. We need first aiders on shift, yeah. We've got a lot of mechanisms in place to make sure that future school holidays are seamless um, and part of that is today's um, recruitment. What guarantees can Dinata give the travelling public then that there won't be more baggage problems going forward? So we have confidence that we will be able to, to service and we have been doing that. In a statement, Qantas told 7.30 it's working hard to fix the problems and apologise to customers who've had their baggage delayed and that it's confident the school holidays should be different. Virgin Australia told 7.30 it's working around the clock to help its customers. Travellers remain sceptical. It's absolutely uh, since the COVID situation that the, um, the service has just plummeted off a cliff. It's just non-existent. Hi, I'm Lee Sales. Thanks for watching this story. If you'd like to watch more of 7.30's stories, they are on the left of your screen. And tap on the button below to subscribe and get the latest from ABC News.